Good morning, it's Monday the 18th of December. This time next week's Christmas Day. <gasps> Exciting. Well, I know Jennifer's excited. We're going to wrap her presents tomorrow. Um, I've just been filling out a form for DWP about my health. Let's see if, uh, what they say. Um, I will probably look for a job in the new year. But at the moment, I have to go and see the doctor soon because I'm so tired. Even though I have a good night's sleep, I'm so tired. By lunchtime, I want to sleep for three or four hours. Otherwise, I can't f focus in the evening and I feel really bad. It's really weird. I think probably being off work is not helping because my body's trying to revert back to its natural sleep cycle, which is, as my mum would tell you from when I was a baby, up all night, sleep all day. There you go. Um, perfect for the actor or the theatre person, really. Um... I've got three to pack. They're in the other room. Let's go and do it. Trip to Aztec West. Chris isn't feeling up to it, so that's fine. I can go and get Jennifer. I'm expecting a couple of parcels today, so Paul's listening out for one, which is the post office um, delivering Royal Mail. Uh, it's for Christopher. Um, and uh, a box for me to put my colouring stuff in down by the sofa so that it's not all over the floor. I've got a small tiny one, this is a bigger one. Uh, the table's going to be coming up here and going into the corner so I do need to get the steps up to get some books down and have a shuffle around which I will do later. The books will go into the other room, It'll give me an incentive to get on and read them. And then there's the, put the scanner up here as well. Uh, then I've got all my computer stuff in one place, although my laptop moves from room to room depending on what I'm doing. Mostly it stays in here, but at night, at the moment, doing the daily vlogs, I do it in the other room because I usually do it late at night when Paul's uh, in here asleep because he's still struggling with sleep with his arm so he's sleeping in here it hurts and he doesn't sleep very well and of course I don't sleep very well anyway so we'd just be waking each other up all the time bless his little cotton socks um, he's slowly getting there um, I went back to bed I'm still feeling shattered I couldn't sleep last night my body is doing a 360 on sleep so when I was a kid, when I was a child, when I was a baby particularly, I would be awake all night and sleep all day. And my body's trying to do that. So my natural sleeping rhythm is to want to be awake in the night, late into the night, into the morning, and then sleep during the day. Obviously years of working and college and school, my body sort of went into work in the right way with an occasional anomaly of uh, insomnia or ex excessive having to sleep. It's trying to push itself back to its uh, original rhythm which I'm not happy about because it's going to make it hard for me when I get a job but never mind I'm going to crack on so I can go down to mum's uh, dad wants me to take him up about his car um and I've got to drop some stuff off at the one stop obviously because I've got three parcels I'll show you what I've sold I sold this is a linen shirt from Marks and Spencer's this was free from Big Jane's uh Jane's big shop that she was uh, getting rid of this was one of my tops from um uh, just from Tesco and this is a Universal Studios sweatshirt that I got in 2006. Um, I'm not going to wear it, it's too small. Uh, the only stuff that's too small that I've actually kept is um, band t-shirts from like Saw Doctors, Huey Lewis and News, etc. And I think Marilyn related because, you know, it's part of my Marilyn collection, so. <sighs> right, I'm going to crack on, get these labels done so I can go and get everything posted and see you mum. It is a really grey and horrible day. It's been raining. Ooh. Didn't put handbrake on all morning. <laughs> I'm in the car park, it's fine. Um, I feel absolutely really drained today, really tired. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up Jennifer in a bit. It's a bit early yet. So I had to pop off to the shop to drop in my posts. So I've done that. And I'm going to go home, clear the big table off for tea. There's this stuff on it and uh, soon to be presents because we'll be wrapping up Jennifer's presents tomorrow, which would be nice. Um, I've also got some measuring I want to do. Try and get a few bits listed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on my phone and change the shipping option on eBay for more of my items from paid to free posts. So it seems to be helping a little bit. So we have no fingers crossed. Uh, get the stop moving a bit. Yeah, I'm just... So it's very early, but we're just getting Jennifer to bed. Um, and Paul's very tired, as you can hear, they're just reading a story. Um, so Paul's tired, and I don't really want to stay down on my own, so I am going to come up and do some reading. I haven't read very much. 
this week at all. I haven't read very much in the last week and a half. Um, just haven't felt like it. It's not what I would. It's not what people would term a reading slump. I've just been doing other things, and I couldn't be bothered. So tonight I plan on reading a few of these Christmas stories from Enid Blyton. Um, I was reading one night. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm going to read two to three today. I also have this book that I want to try and get through. I'm not quite halfway through it, but it's not far off. This is really good. I have a book on my Kindle that I've started. I might have a look at that one. And then I've also got Bad Brides and I've got Hello Norma Jean, which I haven't read much of, as you can see. Um, because I've not been really right in the mood for it. So what I'm going to do is I've got them all here now. Oh, there's something on Marilyn. There we go. I'll get that off. I am going to just crack on and just read a bit. Like I said, I'm going to read Enid Blyton first. Read a bit of those. And I will update you as I go through and see how much I can get read tonight. Um, I do love reading, well I've got to do my Welsh lesson so I'll do that first and then I'm going to start reading as I've got, yeah, nearly lost a, could have lost my streak, let's get my Welsh book up. So I've got this little green notebook here where I write bits in for my uh, Welsh lessons and it only takes me three minutes. I'm going to crack on to that and then I'm going to start reading and I'll check in with you a bit later and let you know how I'm getting on. I'm going to, now, I'm going to call it a night now. I did read two of the uh, Enid Blyton stories and I think if I read two every day I should be ahead of schedule by Thursday and I'll keep checking on it. I read a little bit more of the Marilyn book, it's really good, it's just a lot to digest. A lot of it is just like addresses which is really cool and I did read a good chunk of Fallen by Karen Slaughter. I am now way over halfway through there's only a bit of left maybe a third left so i'll be able to finish this one tomorrow i would think so i'm going to try and finish that tomorrow so i am going to go off to to sleep i have got a new storage box for downstairs um because i like to keep some coloring stuff downstairs to do um and it takes over the room so i've got a big storage box to put stuff in next to the sofa it's got marilyn on it so uh, tomorrow i'll try and unpack that and show you guys and we're going to be doing jennifer's please excuse me and see what else we can do so i'm gonna go for now and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye